What is up everyone? Granola's here with another Norse Tower Defense video. Today we're gonna cover the new update. It just went up. We're gonna talk about the New Year's update. We have Monster, a new flying dragon that actually covers the map. We're gonna talk about the new event place and also new skin that some of us did get, such as I, and some didn't. So let's start off with the skin itself. So as we talked in the previous video, you're gonna click on the edit bottom. Then on the left side, we have this small paintbrush. Gonna click it. And as you can see over here, we have two new skins that actually been unlocked for us in some kind of a mistake or something. And the two others are actually locked. You can unlock it through the Spring Festival pack, which isn't out yet. And some of us did get the, these two skins, some didn't. So if you did, congratulations. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Over here in the troops area, in the towers, there is a new thing where you can do actually combine two towers with the same amount of stars. As you can see over here, we have these two blue ones. I'm gonna double click it. And as you can see over here, it combined both of them. Same for the three stars, as you can see over here. So that's another thing that just went on. We're gonna move to the dragon in the new area. So over the edit place, as you can see over here, we have a new slot for monsters. As you can see over here, I already unlocked this monster, the yellow dragon, the golden dragon, whatever. So in order to unlock it, you need to click on the event, gonna scroll down. We have this new section. We're gonna click it and we got to a place with lots of floating islands. So we have three types of floating island and also downtown. So the floating islands actually goes by epic rare and common. I do believe there's another one for legendary which isn't out yet. They're gonna restart it or add more as time goes by. So over the epic we have 10 players. We can actually go in this area. Over these sections you can get branches, also some kind of fruits. We also have four types of fruits. Legendary, epic, rare and common by the same colors as we used to. Over the rare one we also have same things, less rewards, common, same thing. And for downtown, unlimited amount of players which can actually farm resources there. So as you can see, what you need to do is actually fight for your spot around the map. It's gonna, if you win, you're actually getting inside the tower, the, the floating island, and you are actually able to farm for X amount of time. As you can see over here, I have four hours to farm until someone kicks me out or something, as you can see over here in the log. So you see that I'm being able to defend for a long time already. And sometimes they just win you over by 30 minutes. Whenever you're taking the spot, you have 30 minutes of protection where you can actually generate some resources, but then people can attack you and take your spot. More than that, as you can see over here, in the transport, you be able to generate your rewards to claim this those resources. And sometimes you actually find some kind of a hot hair balloon, which goes around the map. So I definitely recommend to look for it. And you're gonna fight for someone. This dude, if you win it, you actually get their rewards. So just go around the map from time to time and just look for those hot hair balloons. So after getting those fruits, and the branches, you go to the level up section, you can see in the bottom right, we have the new monster section, we have achievements, we're gonna get these rewards, and we have the monster itself, gonna click it, and you're gonna feed the beast with your fruits that you generated. As you can see over here, you level up the friendship, then you unlock more and more skills. Each one of them gives you different kind of attributes. And we have the Sully skill, which actually gives you damage equal to the amount of max HP you have and also damage for monsters for the enemies itself. I really like it. I don't think that this dragon is actually making a lot of damage at the moment, but I'm pretty sure that later on in the game it's pretty effective and it's really nice to see how it works. More than that, we actually got nerfed by the Kraken, the Kraken itself over the world boss. We have the Sandworm and the Kraken, so the Kraken actually got nerfed. It's much easier to attack it, you're gonna last longer over here, so that's pretty good as well. 
Now in the guild wars, we in the league wars, we we don't have anything extra, something special or different to talk about over here. Just generating some more resources. We're still looking for more members internal. So if you're having enough power, feel free to join. We have spots for you guys. We need active members. And I think this is it for now. We got the rewards from the survey from the last video already over the mailbox. Don't forget to claim it. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want for more info. I'm